Wednesday guys welcome welcome happy Wednesday so excited to uh, chat to you about Valentine's Day yesterday so uh, I'm wondering who on this call celebrated Valentine's Day and I'd love to know firstly how you celebrated it uh, add any comments below if you're uh, watching even if you do a love heart or something that would be awesome but I'd love to know how you celebrated did you give something to your partner did you go out for dinner did you acknowledge uh, each other with a post on social media with a nice photo uh, maybe you didn't personally celebrate Valentine's Day, but maybe you commented on someone else's post or something like that, um, saying Happy Valentine's Day or something like that. Uh, I'm interested, so I've got a, I've got a, a few questions. So if you're if you're here, if you're listening to the recording, make sure you pop down if you celebrated Valentine's Day or if you've ever celebrated Valentine's Day, right? Um, so that would be interesting to know. But I've got another couple of questions for you. What is Valentine's Day? What is Valentine's Day? So again, if you're watching or if you're watching the recording, pop in what you think Valentine's Day is. What is Valentine's Day? And my next question is, where did it come from? Where did it come from? So some good questions there. Did you celebrate Valentine's Day this year or ever? What is Valentine's Day and where did it come from? Now, I have to say, we haven't been big. Rocky and I, we've been together for well, 34 years and we haven't never been really big on Valentine's Day. But we have celebrated in the past and, you know, I've got flowers or sometimes I say, oh, I didn't get any flowers and... Uh, you know, where's my flowers and you know uh, and as we've got older it's sort of you know it's, it's really not a day that we say do anything about but I've never questioned what Valentine's Day is I only had an assumption of what it is from the marketing that's out there and I never questioned where it came from and it's so important to know if we're going to live intentionally we have to have our eyes wide open we need to know how we are socially conditioned because we're just going with the flow most of the time with things in life because we just think that's the norm right but we're socially conditioned so we have to have social conditioning awareness we need to know the history of stuff that we're celebrating or being a part of and that includes language the language that we use because or else we're just celebrating and using language with ignorance if we celebrate something we need to know is this something that I truly believe in and is this something that aligns with my values and if you don't know what that something is, then how do you know if it aligns with your values? So we've got to have our eyes wide open, guys. We've got to be aware of socially condition, conditioning. We've got to be aware of knowing our history around stuff. We've got to be ready to learn, but we've also got to be ready to unlearn stuff that we think we know, right? So we've got to be ready to learn, but unlearn all that stuff. And we need to make sure that whatever we're celebrating or, or language that we're using, that it is in line with our values. We can only live intentionally when we know that what we're saying, what we're doing, what we're celebrating is in line with our values. And it also comes down to your identity of who you think you are, right? So we need to be sure that whatever we're celebrating or being involved in, 
that it's in line with our identity. And I've talked a lot about the identity formula. I might actually just see if I've got a handout to show you guys. Yeah. So the identity formula. So if we think about any results that we want in our life comes down to the decisions that we make and the behaviour that we action or don't action. And it comes down to who we think we are. And so our identity is so crucial to the results that we get or the life that we create. And so this human identity formula talks about all the different aspects of how the environment shapes who we think we are. And so if we think about Valentine's Day, Sometimes we just think, oh, it's celebrating love. How beautiful. Without knowing really much about it. So let me tell you some of the research that I've done. And I, I, and I want to say, if we go back to the question, did you celebrate Valentine's Day? What is Valentine's Day and where did it come from? We've got to say, okay, if we're going to celebrate this day has to be in line with our beliefs. So let me tell you some information about Valentine's Day that I've done in my research. So it comes from pagan religion. So I'm not sure if everyone realizes that. Uh, those I've seen lots of people that say that they're not even religious and they're celebrating Valentine's Day, but it is a religious day that came from pagan religion it was actually a pagan festival that's now been rebranded by the catholic church and that's been rebranded if we think about the pagan festival it might shock some of you guys about what this pagan festival was now let me tell you what happened at this festival and you guys can research this yourself so at this pagan festival, many, 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 many years ago, where Valentine's Day came from, people would get drunk, they'd have animal sacrifices, they would do a lottery for women, so they'd put people's names in a hat and then they would just uh, send a man off with the woman who was ever picked out with the name. There were sexual rituals, even sex with children, which is freaking disgusting. Uh, and there was violence against women as well. And so these pagan festivals happened many, many years ago. And as I said, the Catholic Church has then rebranded this day um, with Valentine's Day. And so Valentine's Day, apparently, it's not is named after some type of martyr, some type of person that um, uh, they think it's a Catholic priest, possibly. Um, but it was like Saint Valentine, so it's after after um, him. And even the emblems that they've got, so the Cupid, they have Cupid with the heart and the arrow, um, that's a pagan uh, god. And red roses is a symbol of Roman gods as well. So that's where it's come from. And then marketing has taken it into a different realm. It's, as I said, it was a pagan festival. Then the Catholic Church took it over and rebranded it a little bit. And then, of course, we have the marketing team uh, out there uh, getting lots of money for Valentine's Day with roses, with chocolates, with everything, uh, and, and branding it about love. So it's interesting because knowledge is power. And when we live with intention, when we live intentionally, we need to have our eyes wide open and understand what that looks like. So then we can make decisions. We can say, okay, I want to be a part of this or I don't want to be a part of this, right? So as I said, living intentionally is having your eyes wide open, being aware of the social, social conditioning around you, understanding history there's nothing new under the sun so it goes around be ready to learn but also be ready to unlearn and live in alignment with your values but you, you can't live in alignment with your values if you're 
celebrating or if you're using language that you actually don't know where that's come from. So for me to choose intent, I want to choose intentionally. I want to live intentionally. So for me, now that I know the origins of Valentine's Day, I choose not to celebrate that. I choose not to celebrate a day that has history around violence with women and sex with children. I choose not to have anything to do with that. So I will maybe, and this is our choice, right? The great thing is that when we have uh, awareness, then we have choice and we can choose to do whatever we want that's in line with our values. So I choose to still celebrate love every day. Uh, and even on the so-called Valentine's Day, I might even say something about someone that I love. But from now on, I will not be choosing to use that language because it's not in line with my values. So I trust that that's being valuable, guys. It's being aware of history and our social conditioning and really understanding what we're backing in life. And is it really something that uh, we want to back? You know, so we need to always know and be aware of language and our surroundings so that we can live intentionally. So I trust that that served you guys. I'd um, love to know any comments, so pop them in the chat box. Uh, any insights that you guys have got that would be really valuable. Thank you guys. Have an awesome day. See ya.